Okay, so we just landed the maiden flight and I'm going to taxi in, uh, showing you how to taxi it. In the high grass, you got to be a little bit more careful. And, and uh, when you're taxiing, I go to ex uh, ex um, advanced or experience mode and uh, high rates while taxiing because then you have full control of the rudder uh, and you can make tighter turns to taxi in. Now if you do that, don't forget to turn them back off. So I'm going to go back to low rates and back to beginner mode. Take this off. Put the airplane back up here on my little stand. So my, my stand is, is a um, Ernst Ultra Stand, in case you're interested. Okay, now what that was, it's trying to level itself in beginner mode. So I'm going to unplug this. And now that's off. Airplane is off, so I can turn the radio off. Always unplug the airplane before you turn off the radio. That's a uh, feature of the uh, way it should work. And uh, let me get out my battery checker here and see how much we uh, juiced out of the battery here. Okay, so we've got 12.1. I don't know how long of a flight that was, but I still got plenty of battery left on this. So um, uh, I'll, I'll check the video and see what how much time I flew. Um, uh, but for the next flight, what I'm going to do is use my iPhone and set a timer. And I think for that timer, I'll probably set seven minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to go get a fresh battery and uh, we'll do the next flight. So uh, after the flight, the battery's been checked, the radio is off, and we'll check for any damage, and uh, we shouldn't have any. Um, you might notice that the nose wheel is turned, and that's because the AS3X turned it. That's okay, it'll straighten out the next time. So as long as the wheels are traveling good, um, the control surfaces are in an odd position. That's just the AS3X doing that, so that's okay. Uh, airplane post-flight looks good, and uh, um, I'll be back. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll be back to do another flight. Thank you for watching.